I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to a republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose red stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch for so gallantly streaming and the rocket's Board of Education, I want to congratulate you on a job well done. You have pushed through to, end, to the end of one of the strangest and most uncertain school years. This accomplishment says a lot about you. Your ability to adapt to the changes thrown at you points to a future that is bright and full of success. Every generation has defining moments in their lives that change the way we see the world and the way we move through it together. I want you to take the time to truly slow down and reflect about all that is happening in the world around you. You have been forced into a time of quarantine. Everyone is required to wear face masks. You have had to learn to withstand working in a very different way to get your schoolwork accomplished. Zoom and social distancing are used as verbs these days, and we, we have watched communities come together to protect their most vulnerable and cheer their, the medical community who has fought the virus day and night in our hospitals. Unfortunately, as of late, once again, we are shocked, dismayed, and angered by the senseless killing of an unarmed black man, and our screens are filled day and night with people crying out for justice. Indeed, 2020 won't just mark a major transition for you, but will likely be a year filled with milestones and defining moments for this nation. So as you prepare for this transition to high school, I want to share a couple of things with you and, and issue you a challenge. First, I want to encourage you to know that there is greatness within you. This year alone proves that you have the ability to overcome challenges and hurdles as they come your way. Hackensack Middle School students have worked to take a hard situation and find ways to be creative with their work and to connect with one another. You have the ability to adapt to changes as they come your way, and that's amazing. You are entering one of the most impactful and exciting times of your lives. You will always reflect on the years that you spent in high school. No matter how old you get, you will always remember the friendships that you formed, you will always remember the teachers that you bonded with, and you will always remember the way that you felt during these years. You may not remember how to do every math problem or answer every history, history question, but I promise you, you will remember how you felt. As I reflect on my high school days many years ago, you know what I remember? You know what I don't remember? I don't remember the athletes. I don't remember who the most popular kids were. I don't remember who was the greatest in drama. I remember the people who were kind. 
I remember the people who treated me well and who stood up for me when I needed it. Be kind to one another throughout the next four years and make sure that you take the time to get to know the people that you are with. I promise you it will be worth it. And finally, learn to use your voice. Your voice is the most important and most powerful tool that you will ever have. There will be many times in the next four years and throughout your life that someone does something or says something and you need to learn to call them out. But there are also going to be times when someone says something or does something and you need to learn to call them in. So what do I need, what do I mean when I say call someone in? There are times instead of calling people out, we need to call people into the conversation to help them to learn, to be better, to do better, to just be better humans. It is important to know the difference of when to call people out and when to call them in. So I challenge you, as you transition to high school, not only to learn when to use your voice, but to use your voice to take care of one another. Use your voice to be kind to one another. Use your voice to stand up for one another. Use your voice to demand better from one another when you hear derogatory remarks about girls or women. Use your voice when you hear unkind words or jokes about somebody's ethnicity, culture, or faith. Use your voice to speak up for those who are bullied for being different. Use your voice to make each other better, better, so that you will leave your high school a better place than you found it, and you will enter the world ready to make it a better place as well. These are big requests, and meeting, and meeting this challenge won't be easy. So I wanna leave you with a little bit of encouragement from First Lady Michelle Obama. Every day, you have the power to choose our history by opening your hearts and minds, by speaking up for what you know is right. Congratulations, comments, and go make history. Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the light. These are the words uttered to Harry Potter by Dumbledore, the great wizard from Harry Potter series by author J.K. Rowling. I cannot think of a more appropriate theme for today's speech. Greetings. It's truly an honor and privilege to speak to you on this joyous occasion. While we are saddened that this ceremony is not taking place in person, we rejoice at the fact that this commencement ceremony provides us with an avenue for the school and community to honor and celebrate your success. On behalf of all of us at Hackensack Public Schools, I welcome our distinguished guests and the members of our graduates' families and friends who join us from locations near and far for today's virtual ceremony. The challenges of COVID-19 had significantly increased the stress for many of our students and their families. And I want to take a moment to recognize and honor the sacrifices you have all made to be here with us in this celebration of our graduates. Before I continue, I would also like to take a brief moment of silence to honor all of those members of our families and friends that have lost their lives to COVID-19, and for George Floyd and the countless others who have lost their lives to injustice, hatred, and institutional racism. Thank you. In these dark times, it has never been more important to remember to turn on the light. You, the class of 2020, are that light. You are the ones that give us hope for the future. As we celebrate the perseverance and grit demonstrated by you during this challenging time, I want you to know that your Hackensack family could not be more possibly more proud of you. As you know, these times have not been easy, yet somehow you have managed to survive. You survived it while missing the comfort of your friends. Believe me when I tell you that your teachers and friends missed you just as much as you missed them. We all miss that human connection, which is so important. To that end, our teachers attempted to create virtual classrooms to not only teach you new content, but more importantly, to help you combat the social isolation we all felt. We can only hope that they were successful in some small way to keep some kind of normalcy in your, your lives. The last few months have tested you mentally, physically, and emotionally, yet here you stand. You are truly a resilient bunch. The manner in which you have handled this situation has been nothing short of extraordinary, and for that, you are to be commended. Your drive to succeed is inspiring and gives me hope for the future. 
I truly love the Harry Potter series because to me, it embodies that same sense of hope that you give me. After all, the story itself has so many hopeful moments. Harry, a seemingly unremarkable boy, offers the world hope by defeating the evil Dark Lord. Even when times are dark, the characters in Harry Potter hold on to the belief that good will win in the end. And it's this spark that keeps them going. I ask you to hold on to the belief that good will win in the end as well. But that, that victory does not just happen. That victory takes hard work and perseverance. We will all get through this together as long as you keep hope alive. In a few short months, you will all be moving on to high school, stronger and more future ready than any other eighth grade class before you. You are battle tested. It is my hope that you will soon be able to return to school and appreciate the simple things, like the smell of the cafeteria and the locker room. Yes, I said it. I ask you move on, as you move on, excuse me, I ask three things of you. One, get involved. Hackentech High School has many wonderful extracurricular activities and sports from which to choose. The quality of your high school experience is directly dependent upon being an active participant. Two, communicate with your teachers. Learn how to speak up and advocate for yourselves. Three, choose good role models as friends. Good behavior and bad behavior are equally contagious. We all tend to model and mimic those people that we are around, so choose wisely. To sum up, this school year is one we will never forget. The students of the class of 2020 will be remembered for years to come for their resilience they demonstrated during this historic time. Whatever challenges lay ahead, I know that you are ready to take them head on. You are a beacon of hope for everything that is good in our society. But whatever may come our way, please remember that happiness can always be found if you just remember to turn on the light. Congratulations, class of 2020. You've earned it, enjoy it, good luck in high school. Thank you very much. Good morning and welcome to all central office administrators, to all board members, parents, guardians, and guests to our first virtual graduation ceremony. Before I begin, I would like to take this time to truly congratulate the Hackensack Middle School class of 2020. This is your day. Thank you for allowing me to share in your celebration. Although we may not be together physically, take this opportunity and be extremely proud of your accomplishments. You earned it. There are a few things I would like to address. Commencement. When you look up the word commencement, the first definition you will see is to begin or start. You are at the beginning of possibly one of the most important journeys that can shape the rest of your life. Understand that this journey is a process. This process will be riddled with success and disappointment. Never let your highs be too high or your lows be too low. You must understand that you are built for the challenge. We all know that progress has never and will never travel in the path of least resistance. Progress is a very jagged path that you must walk when you are seeking success. Along this walk, you must stay true to yourself and your family. I cannot predict your future and neither can your family. No one can tell you how you are going to make the world a better place, but I promise you will. As you can see from things going on in our society right now, we need leaders. Leaders come in all ages. You can be the person who starts the next movement. Never settle. Never let anyone tell you it's like that just because. You are of the generation where all the information you need is at your fingertips. But just because you have the information, the job is far from done you must continue to use that information to grow and make whole scale systemic changes. How are you going to affect change? Ask yourself, if not me, who? If not now, when? You will find you are the one who can make the change you would like to see in the world and beyond. 
you must challenge the world and continue to be thinkers. I want you to understand that you are being educated for jobs that do not currently exist. But as long as you continue to challenge education and yourself, you will develop into the thinkers the world needs. The only constant you will encounter in this world is change. How you embrace change may be the factor that separates you from someone else. Open your arms, meet it head on, and be ready for whatever's coming your way. You are well prepared to embrace what changes will come your way. Remember, it's your attitude, not your aptitude, that will determine your altitude. Everyone says opportunity doesn't knock loudly. They are correct. But I want to stress, regardless of however opportunity knocks, you must be ready to answer. You have to make sure you are ready to receive whatever opportunities may come your way. In closing, I would like to say one more time, Hackensack Middle School Class of 2020, congratulations and job well done. You are going to do great things in high school and beyond. Enjoy your day and what you've worked for. Thank you very much. Good morning, parents, friends, families, teachers, staff, most importantly, the class of 2020. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Angela Cha. My experience here at Kentucky Middle School has been the absolute best, and I can't express enough how much I'm going to miss it. When they told us graduation was not going to be what we expected, at first I was pretty bummed out. I started thinking about my experiences here at HMS and began to reflect on all of the great lessons I learned. Some of these lessons I want to share with you today. Four short years ago, I first attended Hackensack Middle School, much like everyone else here. I remember my first day was pretty terrifying. I didn't know anyone at all and felt very shy, but I made amazing friends. Many of the students were kind to me and helped me find my way around the school. They offered to explain the classwork and sit with me during lunch. This was when I learned my first lesson. If you're willing to give people a chance, they will be kind. Always remember to be kind. Then sixth grade came around and that was a pretty hard year for me. There were so many changes that happened to me personally that I didn't think I would be able to make it through to the end. But I slowly, I learned my second lesson. It is okay to open up and trust others with your feelings. I started to confide in my teachers and my friends. They were always there to listen to me even and give me advice even if it wasn't what I wanted to hear. Because of them, I got through a difficult time and was able to enjoy some big milestones of sixth grade. My favorite being sixth grade camp. I had an amazing time there. We did many day and night activities. I will never forget that week. When seventh grade rolled around, I really did not know what to expect, but I quickly learned my third lesson. Education is important, but always remember to have fun. For those of you incoming seventh graders watching, the teachers in seventh grade are no joke. I'm not sure what happens, but it's seventh grade teachers who want you to learn so much. Sometimes it feels overwhelming, but all of the teachers were very caring and helpful. They always wanted us to do our best, even if we thought it was hard. They also knew how to have a good time, too. My favorite day of the year was field day. Everyone in my homeroom, including my teacher, had a great time bouncing in Dotsy castles, playing tug of war, and winning three-legged races. I can't remember the last time all of us laughed so much and genuinely enjoyed spending a full day outside. In the beginning of my eighth grade year, my friends and I were excited for graduation in Cotillion. We wanted to make the best out of it since I won't be going to high school with them next year. But then the world happened and I got to learn the hardest, most important, best in the ball. Life is short. Embrace the tiny heart while you have it. Even though we didn't go back to school and this graduation is virtual, all graduating eighth graders got through the school year and I'm so proud of everyone for not letting quarantine stop us from achieving our goals. And while we could not experience all the great things that come with the end of our middle school years, remember and be grateful for the memories, for the great memories we've had in the hallways, classrooms, and lunchrooms of HMS. In the last four years, I learned many wonderful things. I got a lot of support from all the teachers, counselors, principals, the main office staff, and many students, including my friends. I learned that no matter how hard life can be, you can get through it. 
I've gained a lot of confidence from the fifth grade to now. I've changed once being that quiet, shy girl to being the girl that I am today, giving you a speech on graduation day. I will never forget this school and all the wonderful memories and things it has given me. The school plays, the fashion shows, our practices, and my best friends. Now we move on to the next chapter of our lives, high school. High school will be a growing experience for us as well. High school is vital for our futures and transforms us into better people. At times it will be very stressful, but don't be afraid to use the things you learned at Hackersack Middle School to get you through. I know we can do it. Congratulations to Class 2020. We did it. Buenos días, padres, amigos, familiares, maestros, directores del personal escolar, pero especialmente la clase de 2020. Para los que no me conocen, mi nombre es Angela Chop. Mi experiencia aquí en la escuela intermedia de Hackensack ha sido la mejor y no puedo expresar lo tanto que voy a extrañarla. Cuando nos dijeron que la graduación no iba a ser los que esperábamos, me sentí bastante desanimada. Empecé a pensar en mis experiencias aquí en HMS y comencé a reflexionar sobre todas las grandes lesiones que aprendí. Hoy quiero compartir algunas de estas lesiones con ustedes. Hace cuatro años asistí por primera vez a la Escuela Intermedia de Hackensack, como muchos otros aquí. Recuerdo que mi primer día fue bastante aterrador. No conocí a nadie y me sentía muy tímida, pero pronto hice amistades increíbles. Muchos de los estudiantes fueron amables conmigo y me ayudaron a orientarme en la escuela. Se ofrecieron a aplicar el trabajo de clase y sentarse conmigo durante el almuerzo. Aquí es cuando aprendí mi primera lección. Si estás dispuesto a darle una oportunidad a la gente, será amable contigo. Siempre recuerda ser amable. Luego llegó el sexto grado y ese fue un año bastante difícil para mí. Hubo tantos cambios que ocurrieron personalmente que no pensé que sería capaz de llegar hasta el final. Tomó un poco de tiempo, pero lentamente aprendí mi segunda lección. Está bien abrirse y confiar en los demás con sus sentimientos. Empecé a confiar en mis maestros, mis amigos. Siempre estaban ahí para escucharme y darme consejos, incluso si no era lo que quería escuchar. Gracias a ellos, pasé por ese momento difícil y pude disfrutar algunas etapas importantes del sexto grado. Mi favorito era el campamento de sexto grado. Pasé un tiempo increíble ahí. Hicimos muchas actividades diarias. Nunca olvidaré esa semana. Cuando llegó el séptimo grado, realmente no sabía qué esperar, pero aprendí rápidamente mi tercera lección. La educación es importante, pero siempre recuerda divertirte. Para todos los estudiantes que están mirando y van a entrar al séptimo grado, prepárense. Los maestros de séptimo grado les dan grandes desafíos. No estoy seguro de lo que sucede, pero estos profesores de séptimo grado quieren que aprendas mucho. A veces se siente abrumador, pero todas las todos los maestros tratan de hacer que el aprendizaje fuera divertido. Mis maestros de séptimo grado también fueron muy atentos y serviciales. Siempre quisieron que hiciéramos lo mejor, incluso si pensáramos que era difícil. También sabían cómo divertirse. Mi día favorito de, del año fue el día de deportes. Todo en mi salón de clases, incluyendo mi maestro, se divirtieron mucho, participando y saltando dentro del castillo inflable, jugando y ganando carreras de tres patas. No recuerdo la última vez que todos nos reímos tanto y realmente disfrutamos pasar el día completo al aire libre. Al comienzo de mi octavo grado, mis amigos y yo estábamos en Tuzas entusiasmados, pensando en nuestra graduación y el baile. Queríamos sacar el máximo provecho, ya que no iré a la escuela con ellos el próximo año. Pero luego aconteció la pandemia y aprendí la lección más difícil, pero más importante de todos. La vida es corta. Debes aprovechar el tiempo que tienes. 
aunque nos olvidamos de la escuela y esta graduación es virtual, todos los estudiantes de octavo grado que se gradúan hoy para, pasaron el año escolar y estoy muy orgullosa de todos por no permitir que la cuarentena nos impida alcanzar nuestras metas. Y aunque no pudimos experimentar todas las cosas maravillosas que vienen con el final de nuestro año de escuela intermedia, agradece y aprecia los recuerdos que hemos, que hemos tenido en los pasillos, las aulas y el comedor de HMS. En los últimos cuatro años he aprendido muchas cosas maravillosas. Recibí mucho apoyo de todos los maestros, consejeros, directores y el personal de la oficina principal. Y muchos estudiantes, incluyendo mis amigos. Aprendí que no importa qué difícil sea la vida, puedes superarla. He ganado mucha confianza desde el quinto grado hasta ahora. He cambiado de ser una chica tranquila y tímida a ser la chica que soy, dando un discurso el día de la graduación. Nunca olvidaré esta escuela y todos los maravillosos recuerdos y cosas que me ha dado. La obra escolar, el desfile de modas, nuestras prácticas y mis mejores amigos. Ahora pasaremos al siguiente capítulo de nuestras vidas, la escuela secundaria. La escuela secundaria también nos dará lecciones para aprender. La escuela secundaria es vital para nuestro futuro y nos transformará en mejores personas. A veces será muy estresante, pero no olvides usar las cosas que aprendiste en la escuela intermedia de Hackensack para ayudarte. Sé que podemos hacerlo. Felicitaciones a la clase de 2020. Lo hicimos. Matthew Abadia Mim Noor Adrida Gabriel Aguilar Martinez Mary Ashley Akegnan Jacqueline Alas Damaris Almonte Coronado Ashley Altamirano Jason Alvarez Jalen Alvarez Debbie Amandano Shirley Amandano Christopher Aman Pula Jay Anderson Tahir Andrews Tidra Andrews Ishbel Aparicio Cruz Maria Marafa Emily Arce Matthew Armas Tiffany Asidambai Brianna Avila Darwin Avila Jennifer Avila Mia Azanza Aditya Balaji Dana Rosea Valentine Jose Baragan Brian Barrera Darius Barreto Sara Barazueta 
Joshua Baragas. Jean Carlos Batista Valdez. Heidi Beltran. Barrington Bennett Jr. Demoya Booth. Xavier Boyd. Aiden Bravo Hernandez. Adonis Breton. Jordi Brito Carranza. Nihaya Bryan. Enoch Buahin. Samuel Cabello Gaviria. Eric Cajamarca. Martin Calderon. Edison Calle. Kevin Calle Quito. Trinity Campbell. Arleni Campoverde. Lindsay Campoverde. Diana Caraballo. Christopher Carguaitongo. Joffre Carranza. Juan Carranza Martinez. Brianna Castillo. Derek Castillo. Natasha Castillo. Maria Castillo Erazo. Mariana Castrillon Alvarez. Kevin Castro. Marcelo Castro. Ashley Serda. Angela Cha. David Chang. Jaden Chapman. Matthew Chavez Macias. Leonardo Chimborazo. Erica Chimborazo Aguaisa. Isabella Chang. Carlos Chuki Minchala. Olivia Kojelja. Chloe Cohen. Caden Coleman. Yolanda Contreras. Janelli Corisaka Velasella. Eric Mauricio Cortez. Summer Cowan. Caitlin Criollo. Amoy Cummins. Adriana Gabriela Cusco. Adriana Cusco. 
Maria Dahi Davila, Ava Dubar, Gabriela De Leon Hernandez, Zoe De Groot, Amir De Soki. Noelle Devani, Marissa Dooley, Maria Dusire Almonte, Christopher Dubose the Third, Sydney Dungey. Maria Priscilla Duran Gill, Morgan Dwell, William Edmonds, Jaden Ellis, Hossam Esui. Natalia Espana Peralta, Christian Esposito, Tracy Easy, Samuel Felipe, Mariah Fenner. Christian Ferguson, Gabriel Fernandez, Derer Fernandez Vasquez, Justin Flete Lopez, Brian Flores. Melissa Flores, Isabella Foca, Satori Mai Foster, Amani Francis, Amori Francis. Luili Francisco, Jessica Galbraith, David Gallego Cobo, Juan Galvis, Michelle Galvis. Alexa Gamboa, Daniel Garcia, Erica Garcia, John Garcia, Marlene Garcia. Angel Gabriel Gill, Jada Gilmore, Jesse Gomez, Jonathan Gomez, Maxwell Gonzales. Camilla Gonzalez, Nicholas Gonzalez, Juan Gonzalez Guia, Rovin Gonzalez Penalo, Heidi Graham. 
Jesse Grimaldi David Guaman Eric Guaman Kimberly Guaman Emily Guaman Cajas Dylan Guarquila Cabrera Odalis Gurumendi Christopher Guzman Christopher J. Guzman Shamira Hall William Hall the Fourth Amanda Harris Kayla Harris Lin Pie Hain Kelly Harris Kimberly Hernandez Andrew Hierro Cepeda Cole Holland Francesca Waya Nasir Hudson Angel Inglés Kyle Irving Salomon Hakome Nia James Nyla James Rihanna Jean Francois Aiden Jones Jalen Anthony Taris Jones Joseph Juanacio Arian Kafle Adrian King Noah King Caitlin Kuyumijian Katie Landon Olivia Lane Jeremiah Lawrence Shay Lead Ernesto Leiva Pena Stacy Lima Yusuf Linares Miguel Angel Juisupa Jerry Livacura John Jairo Loja Alao Jennifer Loja Capon David Long Andrew Lopez Garcia Katie Lopez Rosario John Lozado Barbecho Kevin Lozano Daisy Lucero Ortega 
Daniela Macanzella. Karik Mays. Ariana Manancela Ramos. Adnan Abdul Waled Manla. Jonathan Maple. Justin Marcano. Christopher Marmol Rodriguez. Adrian Martinez. Alexandra Martinez. DeMarco May. Nico Mays Nichols. Evan McGinnity. Jeremiah McPherson. Evan Medellin. Dave Medina. Jeffrey Mejia. Genesis Melendez. Jensen Mendoza. Victor Menenses. Melissa Minchala. Fernando Antonio Molina Hernandez. Jarlin Monegro. Jenny Morales. Jawani Stacy Morales. Emmanuel Morel. David Morquecho. Ryan Morquecho. James Morris. Justin Munoz Matrile. The Sony Monroe. Emmanuel Nazi. Aiden Negron. Ezana Neguse. Cameron Nels. David Noriega Noyola. Daniel Nunez. Erlene Nunez. Amaya Oliver. Brianna Ortiz. Gabrielle Osei. Nasim Oyuhuru. Alpha Omega Ado Owusu. Jessica Padilla. Estrella Palomeque. Anjalina Pantaleon. Sofia Para Gonzalez. Johailin Para Lopez. Kevin Penafiel. Diana Peralta. Kimani Pereira. 
Gina Perez. Jorge Perez. Gilbert Phillips Jr. Jairo Pina Terran. Brian Pintado Zumi. Brendan Polly. Daniel Porto. Tiffany Pula. Ariana Kihihe. Jamie Quinteros Morocho. Adriana Kisilema. Anthony Quito. Andy Keys Pilema. Roberto Rada. Renata Ramirez. Jamani Reddick. Jennifer Michelle Reynoso. Junior Ramachi. Jonathan Ramache Romero. Diana Reyes. Nelvi Reyes. Rosemary Reyes. Jasmine Reyes Lima. Alexander Reyes Paredes. Oscar Lee Reynoso. Allison Rivera. Ana Rivera Grullon. Tasmir Robinson. Noel Robinson Alston. Carla Rocano. Nuve Isabel Rodas. Alice Rodriguez. Ashley Rodriguez. Austin Rodriguez. Ismael Rodriguez. Jocelyn Rodriguez. Justin Rodriguez. Mabel Rodriguez. Xavier Rojas. Santiago Roldan Caceres. Jaden Rose. Daniel Rowe. Christopher Saavedra Vasquez. Jessica Saka Kirin. Chelsea Saldana. Denise Saldana Velasella. Daniel Hessen Sale. Brian Salgado. Kendall Salter. Shelby Santa Cruz. 
Erica Santana. Stephen Santiago III. Brian Santos. Dalen Santos. Jennifer Sarmiento. Ellis Satchel. Darius Garter. Liana Seda. Daniela Segovia. Josue Sarah Torres. Ishani Shaladia. Demir Shelley. Claudio Sebri. Leilani Sierra. Dream Slater. Mariska Small. Niala Smith. Omar Smith. Christopher Smith, Jr. George Solano. Liberty Solano. Sean Sowa. Sierra Spears. Maritza Suna. Jessica Sukinagua. Jennifer Takuri Ochoa. Kira Taff. Heber Tejada. Vianadis Tejada. Brian Tenacella Dutan. Amy Tenamaza Matailo. Caitlin Tenazaka. Jair Tenazaka. Laura Terry. Derek Thomas. Jordan Thomas. Victor Thomas. Kayla Thompson. Anaya Thorpe. Eileen Tineo. Anthony Toalongo. Ashley Toalongo. Jason Alexis Toledo Pena. Sherlyn Urgiles. Kelvin Uska. Damien Valcarcel. Justin Valdez. Jasmine Valencia Arevalo. Andrew Valentin. Jarrell Valentine Jr. 
Micah Valera. Dylan Valladares. Julio Vallejo Almanzar. Christopher Valverde. Isabel Van Lenten. James Vargas. Karen Vargas. Viviana Velasella. Valerie Villa. Anson Velasquez. Calvin Villanueva. Edwin Vray. Christopher Vivar. Garel Waite. Cameron Wallace. Anigia Walton. Richard Weir. Alexander Williams. Haley Williams. Misa Williams. Hasim Willis. Quadwo Yaboa. Samuel Yoon. Karen Yunga Chimbai. Jose Yunganaula Altamirano. Chiara Zambrano. Evelyn Zumba.